In this Halloween project, we will create a polymer clay eyeball used both as a ring, as a pendant, a fridge magnet, or even a small bowl for treats. It's really quite easy. 10 minutes and you're done. You will need white polymer clay, a colored clay for an eye, black clay for the pupil, red clay for veins, some shaping tools to create lines on the eye, and black acrylic paint. You may use varnish on the eyeball after it is painted and ready. We will start with a white polymer clay ball. You can shape it in any size you like. This will be the final size of your ring. I'm using light blue clay for the eye, cutting with a cookie cutter and placing on the bowl. Rounding the edges a little bit. I'm using a rubber shaping tool to create marks or lines on the eyeball. These marks will later be painted with black acrylic paint. going all around and then I'm placing the small pupil cut with a smaller camper cutter and a small very small round white piece on the pupil itself this will make the eye more realistic. The red clay will be used to create small veins all around the eyeball. I'm cutting a small piece and rolling it to a thin snake. Cutting it to pieces. It doesn't have to be accurate, I'm not measuring anything. And placing them all around the eyeball in the random order. They look like small branches of a tree. Going all around. and securing them a little bit. When finished, I'm reinforcing the lines on the eyeball and checking. It looks nice, doesn't it? To make the same eyeball as a dish, pendant or a magnet, I'm using a rolled sheet of white clay in the thickest setting of your pasta machine and a round cutter. 
I'm softening the edges a little bit. And I'm using the same colors, the same cutters, to make the eyeball. Cutting a round piece. This piece is rolled on number 5 in my Atlas Pasta machine. A medium thin placed on the middle. And before I'm placing the pupil, I'm adding lines with the rubber tool. You can use any tool you have, even toothpick or anything you have that can draw lines around the eyeball. And placing the pupil in the, in the middle. And a small white on the pupil. Next I'm doing the same as I did with the ring, creating veins around the eyeball using red thin snakes. Just going all around until the whole eyeball is decorated with the red veins. After you have finished with the decoration, we will cure the bowl or the pendant on a metal form shaped as a half hemisphere. This form will help us creating the nice dome shape of the eyeball. I am attaching the eyeball on opposite directions until it is secured to the tool and later placing to cure. Now we will move on to the painting. I am using a thin brush and black acrylic paint and painting the small lines I have made earlier with the shaping tool. I am painting the lines and then wiping them with baby wipes. Being careful not to stain the white eyeball with the black acrylic paint. So I'm doing it in small steps. Some of the paint stays in the creases. And I'm doing the same with the bowl.
If you want to secure the acrylic paint, you can cure them again, the eyeball and the bowl, or you can use varnish. I'm using Fimo varnish all over the eyeball, especially on the places where I have acrylic paint. This will secure it. You can create a nice border to your pendant or bowl with a silver pen. I am painting all around the circle. After you have finished, we can move on to the next step which is gluing the eyeball to the ring and deciding what our bowl would be a pendant, a magnet, anything you like. I hope you have a happy Halloween and thank you for watching me. See you in the next videos.